call. But that welcomes him once again to the program. Now, last week we talked about David as the selected one, if you like, the anointed one. And we found out why was he so chosen in the list of his brothers that are even elderly and more qualified than all that they had. Well, today we want to dig deep and find out really why was he so chosen. That's what we want to do. Gentlemen, let me find out, start by asking the question. You know, from what we read and what we learned the other time, we found out that David's intelligence, fear of God, boldness, and hard work, and a lot of things must have qualified him for anointing that made him who he was. I want to ask, do you agree with this fact, or was it simply a prayer of God's grace upon David? Thank you so much. Whether it was uh, his hard work, intelligence, or grace. Well, I don't know what other panelists would say. I would say both. Uh, it was both a product of grace and works. The Bible talks about faith and works. Um, Proverbs 22, verse 29. It says that uh, see a man that's diligent, he will eat with kings. And then First Corinthians 15, verse 10, Paul says, Even though the grace of God was upon me, I, I labored more than all of them. So I would say uh, Christianity is both sides of the coin. I keep telling my members, uh, the person of Christ is different from the principle of Christ. Many Christians have received the person of Christ, and they are sure of heaven, I can tell you. But they have not practiced the principles of Christ, which is hard work for prosperity, which is faith for healing, which is humility for service, which is submission for marriage. And for every other thing in life, keeping time in office, uh, waking up earlier than others. People, you know, we don't seem to preach this aspect, this other side of coin. And that's why people say, I pay my tithe and give offering, but boy, for no. You know, you wonder. Because he paid his tithe and give offering, but he did not practice the other side of the coin. Which is hard. But Jesus said, you know, you ought to do this and not to omit the other. So for David, uh, my take is that uh, it was a combination of the grace of God and diligence. Okay, I, 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 there's a story of the lady that uh, came to testify in the church. I, want, I don't want to mention that said that um, the previous Sunday she paid her tithe. A fat sum. But unfortunately, the following day morning, the money, she was robbed of her wares in her shop and all of that. that. It simply means that God was not or did not receive his her tithe. Do you agree with this? Your grace. Let's, let's find out as well. No. I wouldn't say God did not accept her time. He did. But I want us to cast our mind back to the scripture. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 12, Jesus said it with his mouth. From the days of John the Baptist until now, if you read that scripture tomorrow, he will say till now. You read it next week till now. And the next year till now. Mean, meaning is, is the standard. That the kingdom of God eh, must suffer violence. And the violent take it by force. Therefore, it's never the will of God. Even those he paid had died the previous day or yesterday and this thing happened the jesus also said a man had a farm he went and planted wheat good seed eh? and went and slept the following morning he saw things he did not plant in that same farm and uh, he wasn't the one that planted the tiles and in his ferocity, he, with anger, he went to uproot. He said, no, in order not to uproot the, the, the wheat, let both of them grow. 
when it happens, it, it further uh, teach you to grow and depend more in God. It could even be a temptation. Now, when God asks Abraham to bring his son and sacrifice, uh, he wanted to test him. If actually, it wasn't that he, he should kill his son. Right? Because he knew what he would do. Okay. Let me find out from uh, his lordship uh, definition. Grace and principle. Do you also agree that the work is side by side or can a man carry grace even when he's not working hard? Because if someone challenged me, in fact, he's a very close friend, he said, Look, I don't need to work hard, I don't need to do this or do that. All I know is that when I step out there, I get fever. I don't even know how it comes. And I go by that because that's always been me. So can God's grace and favor work inside and side in the life of man or as a child of God, it should just depend on his faith or the principle. Well, I believe in two things. Uh, what is this case that my son said? What is grace and works? Faith and works go together. Uh, it is my belief that uh, that favor will likely lead to your place of labor. Favor will likely lead to your place of labor. You are probably <laughs> So you don't go to sleep and think that, okay. Now, this is what happens. Sometimes we don't have to act on testimonies we hear in the church because the person will not tell you the other side. I have met with fathers and I have asked them, how did you get there? They keep telling me they're blessed with grace or something tells me there's something that will happen. So, what about uh, Mary and Martha? One was after works, the other was after grace. Receiving Jesus Christ, and then I want to say, yeah, hey, God, God, God was just uh, demonstrating in that case the both side that Bishop Ken is talking about. Okay. The both side will go on side by side. side, by side. Uh, if you like division of labor, uh, many Christians need to know, like I think Bishop Ken did not learn, he's about to still learn on that, about that grace meeting us at the, the point of our labor. Many prophecies have not come to pass in quote because the owners of those prophecies did not rise up to the occasion they did not uh, meet up the demand of destiny uh, there are prophecies on my head therefore I don't sleep Paul said like I quoted 1 Corinthians 15 verse 10 said, because I knew that the grace of God was upon me I then labor more than them all yet not my labor but the grace of God so if you have a beautiful car, a beautiful car, okay, but you don't have petrol, you can't go anywhere. So the beautiful car is not the problem of the manufacturers, but your irresponsibility in providing the diesel or fuel for locomotive purpose, you have neglected that aspect of engineering, of automobile engineering. So I believe that the grace of God is the beautiful bed and the fuel we have got to stop and put and refill is that labor, that aspect of labor Christians have to do. So back to David, hard working. Remember when Samuel called him? He was coming back from somewhere, from, somewhere. from the bush. I don't know what he would think. And he was working. It, that's what we are saying. He was taking care of the sheep. He came up looking ruffled and asked them, what is the problem? They said, we are looking for it. He had to wash his hands and clean himself to sit down with them and eat. So we must take that as part of this discussion. Okay, so let's let's get back to David now. David's character clearly spells back to him out of a man of nowhere, but a man after God's own heart. In today's world, can we possibly say men in David's you know personality still exist as leaders, especially in our political system? Do we have such men? Yes. Bishop, you take the first shot. Always, <laughs> you yeah. I've just seen you in a while, so I don't know why I'm sitting here. Uh, yeah, do we still have men of David's characteristics in yeah. today's political yeah. world? I wish all politicians have come back from their delicate conferences <laughs> and listen to this, uh, because uh, let, let me let me put it very radically. God is not looking for a person; He's looking for a characteristic. 
You get what I'm saying? That's yeah. why many scriptures say whosoever. Whosoever. Uh, whosoever. Okay, look at John 1. He came to his own and his own refused him. And he said, uh, and then as many as received him. So God sometimes is looking for a characteristic, not an, indi not an individual. So you walk up yourself to meet up that standard, that characteristically just increasing. You meet up that. Okay, for example, you are not looking for a house girl. You are looking for an honest girl. In Canada, it's not looking for a driver. It's looking for a diligent man to drive you. People don't look for people. They look for qualities. That is why very soon, paper certificate will expire. But integrity and character will not expire. I'm even talking to preachers. Very soon, signs and wonders will be expired. So everybody will perform signs and wonders. But now, who can I go and it will not rape my daughter? Who can I drop my money? It will not eat the money, take the money of land and use it for something else and buy a car for himself. Very soon, all this, see, very soon what we saw as yastis and character and character, it's cool, fed away. Even paper, all these people going to school. Let me warn those of you going to school. Collect the certificate to be able to speak English. What people will be looking for will be character and integrity. More of character, more of charis, uh, character, mm -hmm. more than. Than charisma. Charisma. Yeah. Okay. More of character than, than charisma. charisma. So it doesn't really matter where he comes from. Like David did, came from the bush That's in true. his lowly state, but then he had possessed the character. Not made him anointed one. If it if it fits into the like I said, you're not looking for a house girl. To be very honest, you're not looking for a house girl. You're looking for a girl who will not steal from your wife, who will not maltreat your children. That could fit into our or matter or Afion. Do, do you get what I'm saying? So that's what you are basically looking for. Not Afion. You're not looking for Afion. If any Afion comes and looks like, and within three months, she does not fit into that, yes, she's gone. But well, that could be almost the same thing as principle and, and favor. Um, you could even say that. Yes. Throughout. So if we have to combine both. Yeah. Okay. Where is the place of qualification in a man? In terms of leadership, I know David didn't have it. In terms of qualification, like you said something about Davis. Today's world, today's political system, today's you know man says how to be qualified. If you don't have what it takes to be there, then you cannot be there. You see people fighting, people you know trying to dethrone someone, making sure that this does not sell. It's best. Let me take a few. Yes, uh, at times God does not judge as man. God looks at the heart and know who has got uh, the fear of God. Who will go through challenges and still not deny God? And there was a time Satan was going to and fro, and he went to uh, the location of Job. And when he met Job, and uh, 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 he told God, according to Job chapter 1, uh, he should uh, remove the security, the protection, and see that Job will deny him. Job would not go down to the fear of God and the character we are talking about. And uh, since God, God has already known according to what Jesus says in John chapter 2, verses 24 and 25. The, the Bible says, But Jesus did not commit himself unto men, to them, because he knew all men, and needed, needed not that any should testify of man, for he knew what was in man. That is the way God looked at it in chosen leadership. Let me also come in. Uh, I should ask this question. Uh, Bishop, uh, okay, I'm sure you'll you be on standby. God's choice of David from Samuel aligns with God's agenda because God so selected him and asked Samuel to anoint him for the leadership position. What's the yardstick for measuring our political leaders today? Do they align with God's choice and agenda for 
are they all about you know power play? Who gets much money? Who can buy his or her way into? Let's leave the qualification now. Let's let's let me get from that. Okay. okay. Uh, what I want to say is that in David's time, no paper qualification was needed. Yes, but that's but he had the qualification of hard work. It's like his question say, what's a man to cause a hard work? He feared the Lord and God would perform that. He wouldn't fail him. In today's contemporary society, God can never choose a man that does not have the paper qualification. The favor is there, but he has to favor the person that will not be ashamed to him when they time is nine and the time is high because they will look into the certificate. You understand? There are other people with the same certificate. God will favor another person over another person. For instance, he will win the primaries today because they don't have primaries to say. He will come and say, I don't know why I asked this question. <laughs> you may win the primary. I think but I, don't have primary I will post, I'll that one somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so when the time is nigh and the tide is high, yeah. you'll be exposed. Okay. And it will be a shame to the name of the Lord. Okay. Yes. Yeah, it's not shame. You want to add up something there? Do they align with God's agenda? Now, let, let, me, let me shake the table. Small. Please, I, know, I like shaking, I like shaking the table. The problem with men, political, ourselves, our generation, is that we do not know the yardstick God uses to choose a leader. We do not know. We have no idea why the mantle falls on a young man or a young woman for a certain political or administrative responsibility. But I wanted to know three things now. Number one, in choosing anyone, God choosing anyone. He had already chosen him from his mother's womb. Really? Yes. yes right. Jeremiah 1. Yes. He already known him, sanctified him, chosen him, ordained him from his mother's womb. So every other thing that plays are synchronizing with the will of God and destiny of God for that person. That's number one. Number two, God does not chose someone whom he has no assignment for him. If I mention Samson here, you guys will check. Do you know that God chose Samson to destroy the Philistines? I read in the Judges, uh, I think chapter 14, verse 1 to 4, those of you with Bible, Judges 14, 1 to 4, the purpose why God chose Samson, and this is one who shocked me, God even caused Samson to make the mistake that he makes. Is in the Bible. He said, purpose. Yes, he said, and the Lord caused him to like a woman in Timnat. God forced him to love a woman in Timnat so that they would deny him that woman, so that they would burn their farm, so that so, God will use it to avenge the place. So God I, I, know, I know you are shaking. <laughs> <laughs> I know you are shaking. That's why I said, I'm coming to shake the okay. Let me allow you so to God, God forced Samson mm -hmm. to fall in love with a woman, and God caused the Philistine to refuse him the woman. So that he will burn their farmyard, so that he will find occasion. Judges 14, 1 to 4. He will find occasion to avenge the Philistines of what they did to Israel. So that, like I said, number two, God, number three, number three, number three God chose somebody beyond spiritual yardstick. That is where Aquabomans don't get it, Nigerians don't get it. God can choose a Cyrus so that he will build the temple. God can choose Pharaoh's daughter so that he can raise up Moses. God can choose somebody with no spiritual... I hear somebody say, oh, they brought a senator as an assembly member in my place. He's not even born again. I said, God may not want him to be born again because somebody God wants him to kill. Tell this guy. I'm going to repent. There's some, God can raise on to fight people, to kill people. These are in a To them, if Nigerians are wicked, not repenting, read your Bible. God can raise a wicked leader to Nigerians for eight years okay. to punish them. 
check your Bible, most kings God give Israel was to punish them. Mm. Yeah. So, we should, how do I put it? We should not be complaining about our leaders. We should be complaining about ourselves. Because Deuteronomy says, 18 verse, uh, verse 15, Deuteronomy 18, 15, I will raise a leader from among them. So if they are all wicked, mm -hmm. if God pick a leader from us, who would they, how would the leader be? I'm asking you. Wicked. If we are all fornicators and God said, Deuteronomy 18, 15, I will raise a leader among you. Who would the leader be? A fornicator. So it is the reflection of the, pet, the state of the people that reflects on the leaders God give them. So Nigerians who don't like the leaders are having so quickly go on solemn assembly and say a symbol. Whatever we have done to you, and you always bring people that are old and flappy and weak to lead us, people that must go to hospital, help us. I'm not calling anybody's name. No doubt. If it's Zambia, you so the, the people always deserve the leaders they have. Yes. This is where repentance comes in. This is where spiritual dimension comes in. The repentance and the spiritual dimension is on the side of the people. On the Mainly on the side of the people because I will pick a leader from among you. From among you. I got a minute of guru when I'm a human, human, this man, this man. I was a baby, choose leader among us. Maybe it's your angel. Sorry for the language. Will you pick angel to come and, and lead us? So you know, We are wicked people. They never be so We need a, we need a, a nice leader. But, but none of us is nice. All of us thieves. We we steal from the teachers in school, steal from the student, the students steal from their uh, their parents and they pay the wife steal from husband. They are watching me. Many women they give lists is for feeding. They cut the list and buy shoes and build house for their mother. But, but some will say, I know can depend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am trying to say that it is a characteristic reflection of the people that shows on the leaders they will finally get. Because the system will only throw up one of them. That's the theory I'm bringing in now. The theory says that the system will throw up one of you. So if you are all courtes, it tests a system that are Christians. Okay, let me put it this way. I'm sure five women will like this. If you are all Christians praying and fasting, you are all pastors everywhere, deacon this, uh, dieto, minister this, vice bishop. When well, once you plan in the for election, the system may throw up a pastor. Or a reverend. Bishop, you are getting to <laughs> because, because of the ten of the I go to the room in the on your system I am going to up. It is what you okay, what when you eat Afa, when you want to vomit, what will you vomit? It's Afa. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot vomit uh, a <laughs> dinner. Yeah, yeah. So so people only vomited what they ate. Yeah. And therefore, the system will only throw up what is there. So this is very, this is very important. strong. Strong words. I mean, I mean, I mean. All right, we are going to find solution to this, no doubt. But we'll take a break right now. If you just join us. The program is still the defense of the gospel. It is an official partner of Vision Matthew Twenty Twenty Three. And of course, I still have my guest in the house, Bishop Doctor and myself, Archbishop Awudeme Simon, and of course, Bishop Gabriel Kana. All of them are finding solution to the topic that says why God chose David instead of his brothers. You might want to know more reasons why we are where we are. Of course, those secret things are unveiling. We'll take a break right now. When we come back, our phone lines will be thrown open. Don't forget, we have said the lines to call will be 0913-514-5983. And of course, 0816-209-472. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Oh, my God. 
But it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared of the Father. Matthew chapter 20 verses 23. Vision Matthew 2023 is an interdenominational TV and radio program featuring seasoned gospel ministers and Christian leaders within and outside Aquaibum with the aim of positioning the body of Christ to play our expected biblical roles towards good governance. Matthew 2023 that says that nobody can become anything until God the defense of the gospel, the official partners of Vision Matthew 2023, it's powerful. And this cousin was first met with, with Sirenus, who was governor of Syria. So, so number two, we should learn to pray for those in authority, authority. pray for the governor. Inspiring. Begin to decorate their words, mm. begin to make it sound like all along everybody was mm. wrong mm. until they came until, mm. Mm. Ah. inciting we'll begin to tell you what you want to hear and know what god says so lifting bring flows into the stream why because the only way for you to prosper is to give to the prosperous Bible Focus program you can't afford to miss. The Defense of the Gospel, an interdenominational TV and radio program that features seasoned gospel ministers with the aim of providing answers to current social, political, and spiritual issues and the role of the church, sponsored by Remedy for Victims of Religious Persecution and Discrimination, RVRPND. Airing live on AKBC TV and radio and on Star Times channel 113. Time is 2 p.m. every Thursday. Repeat broadcast on Saturdays and on AKBC radio by 4 p.m. and AKBC TV by 5 p.m. Watch live on Facebook at The Defense of the Gospel and on YouTube at G247 TV. Contact information 0816-209-4722-0808-425-4545 WhatsApp 0913-510-5983 The Defense of the Gospel The official partners of Vision Matthew 2023 The Defense of the Gospel on your radio and also on your television. We are also online on Facebook. Dot uh, Defense of the Gospel. That is www dot Defense of the Gospel on Facebook. And of course, we are also on YouTube on uh, our twenty four G twenty four seventy D. Okay. So having said that, our phone lines are now open because I know you're ready to fire. So keep on uh, rolling those fires. The men of God are also here. We have been talking on the topic that says why God chose David instead of his brothers. First caller on the line already. Let's see how we can go. Hello. Good afternoon to you. All right. So when you call us, please do remember the, the rules of the game to turn down the volume of your radio set or your device, whichever device you're calling or you're watching us. From. Hello. Good afternoon. Yes. Your name and location. All right. Let's go ahead. You need to speak up, Anifio. Please speak up so we can hear you. Hello, Anifio. Hello? Uh, oh, you missed it. Okay. Anifio, I was trying to put you on speaker. Try call us back, please. Just call us back. Numbers to call are 0913-510-5983. That is 0913-510-5983. 510-5983. You can also call us on 0816-209-4722. When you call us, please do remember to turn down the volume of your set. If you are listening to us through the radio, turn it down. If you're listening through the TV, please turn it down. If you're online, go ahead and uh, we'll hear you loud and clear. All right, let's call up. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. Yeah, nice to have you. But your, that place is a bit noisy. Can you walk away from where you are? Walk away from where you are. Go ahead. Okay. Try call us back if you can. Try call us back. Uh, we are here for you. That's why the program is here. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Okay. All right. 
better. The number to call is still 0913-510-5983. That is 0913-510-5983. We can also receive your calls through 0816-209-4722. Feel free to call us. You can even send a text and then I will certainly react to your call. I have very able, great men of God here. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, can you walk away from your radio or TV? Turn it down, the volume. Let's go ahead. Tell us your name and where you're calling us from. Okay. We're still here. Let's hope that you'll be able to get it right. The number to call are already displayed on the screen. If you're watching us through the TV, if you're listening to us through the radio, the numbers are the ones that are ready. You can call us. We are here to take your calls. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Your name and location. You are. Go ahead. Want to ask him any questions? So he did a nice questions. job for yeah, us. Nice <laughs> job, nice. Next caller. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. You are on, please. Okay, please. When you call us, um, stay on the line and then fire your question or uh, whatever. It might not be specifically on this topic, but if you feel like you know dwelling on this topic, which we are, no doubt about that. We are here to take your calls. Oh nine one three five one zero. Five nine eight three and 0816 Those are the lines to call and you get direct access to us. Hello. Do us a favor. Walk away from your radio TV. Are you turning down? Turn down the volume, please. Do us this favor. Just turn down the volume before you call us. Okay? All right. Next caller. Hello. Good afternoon. Please side. Please, sir, can you turn down the volume of your TV or radio sets? Just turn it down, please. Our eardrums are also important. I hope you can do this for us, please. All right. Hello, good afternoon. Yes, can you turn down the volume of your sets? Pastor, sir, can you turn down the volume of your set? Just turn down the volume of your radio set or TV set, please. Your message. He's campaigning for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> He's even laughing. Yes. Yes. He's even laughing. You, well, pay, you pay us for the. You know, what you're doing, Pastor? He didn't even tell us his, 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 his name. name. He said Pastor, but we didn't get the he name. He said he was a pastor to go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Next one on the line. Hello, good afternoon. Hello. Thank you, sir, for joining us. Your name and location, sir. Asuk Wan Sika. where are you calling us from? Beautiful. Go ahead, sir. If, for instance, a pastor in apostolic exalts the money of the less privileged, what are we to do to him? And he promised since 2010 he ate my money and I'm in the money. What am I to do to him? And report, him. report, report to the church committee and not the radio or TV. Okay. Report to the church committee and not TV or radio. Okay. okay. Then, then get your lawyer to write them. He knows what to do. Okay, thank you. God bless you. All right, thank, you. All right. thank you for calling. You know, that is part of this program. Mm. It blesses you, you know, direct. Because you have men of God who are endowed by the Lord. Advise you the right way. 
Number to call is 0913-510-5983. 0913-510-5983 is the number to call. And you can also call the alternate line 0816-209-4722. Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to the program. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Uh, down. Uh, down. In a man, some ball, city, some food. I want to get a man. Okay. All right. I will help her. We can't tell you. So, 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 Okay, uh, she's asking a, a man, a woman that is called of God mm. and not in deal with the Holy Spirit. Yes. Uh, she must also know that uh, why that is important, every person born again has a level of the Holy Spirit in his life at salvation, a measure of the Holy Spirit at salvation. It is an overflow at baptism in the Holy Spirit you may seek to have it, and it's very important to have that. So that it comes with gifts and graces. But everyone who confesses Jesus, how do we even know we are born again? The Spirit of God, God bears, bears witness, witness with that. our spirit. So we were regenerated in the Spirit. So the whole, it is the Holy Spirit that convicted us to be born again. So we would not even have been born again if the Holy Spirit did not enter us and convict us. But that's just, like she said, a measure of the Spirit. Seek for the that is the ankle level, mm -hmm. seek for the overflowing level, yes. which is baptism. Well, while we're still expecting your calls, and of course, you're also attending to your calls, let's see how we can find solutions to some of the things we've raised, the issues we've raised. Uh, Bishop raised a very important issue here uh, when he said something about the three, you know, focus that um, for a man of God to be so aligned in God's will that they come with these, you know, issues. You made mention of God's choice from birth. You said so, Bishop? Yeah. Yes. And he also said something about that such a man is for an assignment sent to specific God. Specific purpose. Specific purpose. Yeah. yeah, specific purpose. And of course, they said that uh, such a man shows beyond spiritual yardstick, you know, as he, as he comes. So, first, um, but of course, let's, let's go down one after the other. So, in this world now, in today's, you know, circumstance, Let's take Nigeria, for instance, where we are right now. These three focuses we've given, can we say exactly that this is what is happening to our listeners? Since I'm the one that spoke, uh, Archbishop, <laughs> do, you see, do you see this playing in our leadership structures? I quite uh, agree with your three points of being a choice of God quite agree mm. um it's very true and i want to sorry add... sorry your grace i think we'll do that call. intermittent thing okay. with the call sorry. please yeah let's hear hello thank you for joining us sir tell us your name and where you're calling us from sunday from a title all right go ahead go ahead Let me help. You. Thank you, thank you, Sunday. All right. Uh, please, I uh, want you to notice that uh, the greatest person to answer that question is your pastor, your local pastor, your general pastor, where you submit to, because every teacher and pastor is answerable to God for what he believes and for what he teaches the people. That's why the Bible says, "Be not all teachers, because they have the worst judgment and the best reward." But back to your question. Uh, if your pastor says cover here, or if you go to a church mm -hmm. that the pastor says cover here, please, even if you are my wife and you don't cover, you must cover here in that church because yeah. then you will not be disobeying the scripture according to what you will be disobeying 
church. There is church doctrine and there's dogmas. Dogmas are different from doctrine. We are we are all centrally believing that Jesus is God. Like these are three general overseers. I don't think we believe in the same thing. No. If, if we really want to, uh, but but our idiosyncrasy, administrative uh, formulas, uh, doctrine about the formation. Say for come I come. Okay, okay. For for you say can I come? If you, I can use my own come. I bad and tom. I for you say come for. I want to for the way you. You tie it to the usobo usobo. Then I war on. I go come get tom. I war now. So doctrine Bible that doctrine about the formation. So the style and you come is there. You depend on the church board, the administrative the administration of the church. That's why talking about the gift of the Holy Spirit in First Corinthians, after the, there are diversities of operations, diversities of manifestations, and diversities of administration. administration. Those it's things are what believers are having headache. If you come to my church, and and the church doctrine does not say that we must cover here, it's not binding on someone that doesn't want to uncover. And uncover. it's not a qualification to help. My my former pastor taught me. I mean, I should not impose that on you. That the hair of the woman is meant for covering. And if you look at that first Corinthians 11, which is what she's quoting, yeah. he starts by saying, that's how he starts. She yes, didn't, yeah, they don't refer. He said, the head of the man is Christ, mm -hmm. and the head of the woman is God. Mm -hmm. And he said, men should live in submission to Christ, and women should live in submission to their husband. It was submission. And then he now brought a cultural explanation. He said, don't you even say that women that crave their hair is a shame. And women that cover men that cover their head, it is a disrespect in most culture. It was a cultural discussion. So most time the Bible is written on the backdrop of a cultural background. I call the Bible like you written in Uyo. If I say Tana Yisab, Yisab Yu. Yeah, you know, man said But because it was written in the Jewish culture, it on unleavened bread. It on, you know, so there are certain things that cannot be applied to all cultures across board and there are certain doctrines which are not to be applied to all churches across board even there are uh, things you do in your church which necessarily will not lead you to hell if we call it the non-essentials non of christianity then the essentials the essentials is that jesus came in the flesh born by virgin woman he grew up and died on the cross and resurrected the third day he is coming back again yeah. and shall judge the living and the dead yeah. that's the centrality of catholic yeah. church Bible church Pentecost. whatever you are preaching you must maintain that centrality of the cross of christ in your preaching any in fact the bible said the only false doctrine is someone that says that jesus was not born in the flesh the bible said the only false doctrine the only false doctrine. That if you say jesus was not born in the, flesh, in the flesh then the bible said we should not talk to you what about even if you cover your head what about that says the one that says jesus does not exist that's the same thing no. it's a blasphemy so uh, so do, those are the non those are the essentials but when we come to non-essentials there'll be a lot of battles because I, if, even the covering of hell, let me shock you. I, I'm, I'm the peer of the whole body of Christ That's right. among yes. Pentecostals. Yes. So I handle this matter. I sit between Winners Chapel and Redeem. I sit between the I'm the, I'm the one that answers this question. I have been in a Papa Adebo's office where we are only 42 talking about this. And that's where we brought the word essentials and mm -hmm. non essentials. Let me shock you. Even those that cover hair, they are still fighting. There's the church. You must cover ear. Okay. Another one, you may not cover ear. They say church, you yeah, only yeah, yeah, veil yeah. and drop it like Muslim. There's an church that say you must tie it and drop at the back. Another one said, even though you cover your ear, it must go down wrapped, you know. So and then there are people that use only cap. They do it to wait and do. If they cover, you, you've not seen. I don't yeah, want to mention it. You just drop a small hat, yeah. tiny. Have very elegant, just like at bishop's call, uh, bishop's call. So, and the, and the pastor says, okay, but the whole hair shows yes. all through what she drops a nice uh, feather-like thing. Yes. So, so even when you come among those that cover, there is still heavy controversy. So, so it, it, it's something we call the non-essentials of Christianity. Let's face the cross. Did Jesus die for a sinner? Let him repent, give his life to Christ, because there is heaven and there is hell. Let's go that central, and the gospel will be very sweet. But obey your local church. Okay. 
I, I can see so much calls. I so many calls are still coming in. Let's see if we can take this one. Hello. Okay, so um, we'll leave the calls for now. Let's see how we can summarize because uh, we don't have a lot of time. Yes, Archbishop, we were saying yes, you were asking. You know, even in medical uh, provision, not all doctors read uh, uh, odd, I mean, one thing. There is gynecologist, mm -hmm. there is a physiotherapist, therapist. Mm -hmm. I mentioned them. Even so, God called us and gave us specific eh, thing to say about. Like we see in the Bible, that the disciples, God called them and gave them specific messages. And so it is today that when God call you or want to pick you or you are his choice for leadership and you go on ahead. What if God called you and, and, and anointed you like the bishop said from birth for leadership? Yes. And you come, you don't fulfill that leadership role. For example, you do not even ask far to yes, become. We talk about the two sides yes. of the coin. That's yes. why we are talking about mm. the two sides of mm. the coin. Mm. And uh, Saul was that kind of a person, mm. and God regretted. If God said He repented me, I'm having so many calls. I don't know. What, what, take what, take what one or two. Do? Okay, let me see if I can take this one. Hello. 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 Yes. Good afternoon. You're our last caller. Tell us your name. Hello. Where you're calling us from? Hello. Okay, go I'm ahead. Yes, go ahead. Wow. Thank you. Listen, that's that's listen, man. That's, that's listen. Work. All right. That's, that's a very good one and challenging. Do we answer him before he continue? Uh, let's just quickly answer him. Yes, mm -hmm. let's answer him. Yes. Uh, sweet boy, mm -hmm. there is no age limit to having the Spirit of God because even Mary with a baby of uh, in their womb and Elizabeth with a baby in the womb were filled with the Holy Spirit. So just desire and say, Lord Jesus, I give my life to you and I want you to baptize me with the Holy Spirit. And you lift your hand by faith you receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit after you have received salvation. So if you do that, even right now as we're talking, you kneel down, you can stand up, lift your hand and say, Jesus, come into my life. You are my savior and I need the Holy Spirit. He come on you even right now. Receive in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, Bishop, uh, it doesn't look like we have so much time on our hands uh, because uh, it's a joint service program. We have people from the radio and okay. the television and other programs. So, what do we need in this situation? Uh, do we do we leave this for some other time? And we then say how we can uh, prepare the situation by advising our leaders on the next step. Yeah. Instead of dissecting all of them, the calls are still combat. coming in as well. So, yes. Uh, all right. Yeah. Yes. So we take so we take the third turn. Okay. So we take the third turn. <laughs> okay, so we'll take the third turn. <laughs> Bishop, is that okay by you? I think I agree. Yeah, we'll take the third turn. Yeah. So far, it's constitutional. <laughs> <laughs> So, your grace, you agree? Yes. Dead term. Dead term. All, All right. right. All right. <laughs> All right. So, just before we take the third term, uh, what would be your advice to, to our leaders as regards the fact that they are being chosen by God? Because the Bible says we should honor and respect those in place of authority because it is by God that they are there. What do you say to them? Some of them that may not really know or believe that, like the bishop said, they were born to lead. They were anointed to lead and they have this capacity to lead. And then they find themselves in leadership position and some people are haywire. What do you say to them? It is very clear when God calls you or you are the choice of God, it's not, it is not easy. Very clear. Because God will not call you and leave you at the back. There must be specific things he wants you to do. All right. And so, okay. Okay, let me also take from you, Mr. Lordship, your advice 
Uh, advice to leaders, um, rather my own is a question. Why is it that when you are looking for our votes, you knock our doors, you come under rent, you are so approachable, accessible, you are simple, you bring out money, you give us rice and fresh cap. Why is it that when we vote you in, I put off phone for, I love what wrong for. That is my only question. It affects me. Do you know what the Bible say? Proverbs chapter 11, 26. He said, he that withholded the corn, the people will curse him. I speak to all people at all levels of government. Why, why are you so easy and smiling and simple? Imagine vote. But I'm not a winner, man. I put on tiger. I put on tiger. I don't know. I don't want to insult anybody. Maybe you can answer help me. My own is a question. Yeah, yeah. Uh, every, we'll give it for 10. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Every leader should please strive to lead the people better than you met them. Mm -hmm. If you know you won't be able to do a particular thing, do not promise when you're campaigning to be votarian. And by the way, if you're just about to leave office, if you promised any church anything, please go and redeem. That's it on our program for today. We'd like to thank you very much for being part of it. Our uh, topic has been on why does God, why God chose David instead of his brothers. That has been the topic. Why God chose David instead of his brothers. And we took our text from First Samuel chapter sixteen, verse ten to thirteen. I'm still having some phone calls. Please just keep this phone calls. I'm going to have to ten. Definitely. We'll give you enough time today. We tried, we gave you 30 good minutes. So just keep that, we'll come back for that. And I'd had as my panelists, as always, is Lordship Bishop and my son, the National Publicity Secretary of Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria. Glad to have him. He's our son, he's our father, our brother, and he's always been there for us. We appreciate it. One more time, Thank you. Thank you, thank you. thank you so much, viewers. Thank you, listeners. We also appreciate uh, his best. The Archbishop Ibudeme Simon of Red Faith Church has always been here and of course he was here to also bless this occasion. Thank you so much, Your Grace. Thank you so much and God bless. We appreciate it as well. His Lordship Bishop Get in Canaan. Today has given me some flavors I've written down, which I will I will return there when we get to that time. Do my own return match. I gave him one last time. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Your Lordship, for your time. We appreciate it. Always a pleasure. Okay, so as always, I I'd like to very quickly allow his Lordship Bishop, we've not seen him for a while now, to give us just 30 seconds prayers. Just give us prayers for Nigeria, leadership of Nigeria, quiet room, and of course, uh, for the defense of the gospel. Father, we pray for this great nation, Nigeria. It will not burn, it will not break. Amen. We pray for Akwaibom State. Our governor, his dear wife, it will end strong, it will succeed. Amen. Thank you for whoever you are bringing to take over from there. Let it be the right person that will love Jesus and serve the people. We bless AKBC. We start from the MD and all his team, including our presenter and producer, and the staff and the camera people, and all those who are watching this program or listening to us on radio. Let blessing flow in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 So that's been the program. Join us again next Thursday. We'll be right here. My name is Eko. He caught on behalf of the producer of the program, Kuku Imadu, saying goodbye. God bless you. But it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared of the Father. Matthew chapter 20 verses 23. Vision Matthew 2023 is an interdenominational TV and radio program featuring seasoned gospel ministers and Christian leaders within and outside Aquaibum with the aim of positioning the body of Christ to play our expected biblical roles towards good governance. Matthew 2023 that says that nobody can become anything. The defense of the gospel, the official partners of Vision Matthew 2023, it's powerful. And this thousand was first made with, with Sarinus, who was governor of Syria. So, so number two, we should learn to pray for those in authority, authority. pray for the governor. Inspiring. Begin to decorate their words, mm. begin to make it sound like all along everybody was wrong <laughs> until they came until. Mm. Mm. Ah. inciting people begin to tell you what you want to hear and know what god says so lifting bring flows into the stream why because the only way for you to prosper is to give to the prosperous
Bible Focus program you can't afford to miss. The Defense of the Gospel, an interdenominational TV and radio program that features seasoned gospel ministers with the aim of providing answers to current social, political, and spiritual issues and the role of the church, sponsored by Remedy for Victims of Religious Persecution and Discrimination, RVRPND. Airing live on AKBC TV and radio and on Star Times Channel 113. Time is 2 p.m. every Thursday. Repeat broadcasts on Saturdays and on AKBC Radio by 4 p.m. and AKBC TV by 5 p.m. Watch live on Facebook at The Defense of the Gospel and on YouTube at G247 TV. Contact information 0816 209 4722 0808 425 4545 WhatsApp 0913 510 5983 The Defense of the Gospel The official partners of Vision Matthew 2023 But it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared